Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Marcus Stone and I'm the host of The Daily Dose and I would like to welcome you to the next day of your new life. That's right, we all have the same 24 hours in a day, (laughs) y'all. Time is equal opportunity. What are you going to do with yours today? Well, I tell you what you guys came here to do pretty early. You came to The Daily Dose house to get your antidote. But I know some of your family members, some of your pets, your dogs, your cats, your furniture even needs the antidote sometime. Your co-workers, your employees, your boss, your entrepreneur, anybody who you know needs to get their antidote and you know your boy Marcus got it. But in order for them to get it, you know you got to do me my favorite thing in the whole wide world on the count of three. And that's one, two, three, Hulk smash the share button. Today, 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 I need you guys to really share, share, share. When you share, I want you to put it, make it a post out of it. You say, check this dude out. He's lit. Because today, the secret sauce is going to be flowing, y'all. That's right. I'm talking about the Prego, the Ragu, the secret sauce. When your mama was on her deathbed, she was like, I'm about to go in a few seconds. But before, I'm going to give you this secret sauce. But you can't share it with nobody. But don't worry. I got the secret sauce. And sharing is caring. Good morning, Dosas. How are we doing today? Today is January 30th, 2019, the year of consistency. And let me tell you what I'm talking about when it comes to consistency. That's right, this morning, bright and early, 4 a.m., working on my daily planner. You can see me doing it right there. And then your boy had to get into his yogi. Y'all didn't know that your boy is flexible like that, did you? That's right, working on my flexi. And right after that, I had to get my workout on, get my sweat be dripping, drip, drip. That's right, because the dad bod does not belong in this house at all whatsoever. Tried it, didn't like it. I got outside my comfort zone, y'all. I tried all the food that I wanted, pizza, hamburgers, chicken wings, ice cream, and all that stuff. And it gave me this thing called the dad bod. And I was like, ugh, I don't like you. So we getting rid of it. That's right. And the sweat is just the fat crying all over my body. I hope y'all are having a fantastic morning because I am. I'm telling you, today's topic is going to be lit. So Lyric, tell them what to do. Y'all better listen to that girl, man. She knows what she's talking about. Don't get her angry. She turned all green and get all these muscles and everything. Well, today's topic was inspired by one of my good buddies, Janelle. She hit me up and let me show you what she said. Hey, Marquis Stone. Hey, Daily Dosers. It's me, Janelle, and I have a question. I have got a friend that is um, new to social media She's trying to figure out how to be her true self, her real self. And I know, Marquise, you've got the antidote. So can you hook me up with something to tell her? Come on, man. Well, you know I got you, girl. You know I got you. All right. So before we get into the antidote, I just want to read a quote this morning. I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. Mama Teresa said that. Hey, Mama, how you doing? That's my mama from another mama. But... I'm going to address the elephant in the internet. That is right. We got this thing called the elephant. It is so fierce in the room and not a lot of people want to talk about it. But today on the Daily Dose, we are going to address the elephant on the internet. So let's get to the antidote. The antidote is defined as a medicine taken or given to counteract a particular poison. Now, Marcus, these people woke up early. They came to your show, the Daily Dose, to get the antidote. Hit them with the antidote. All right, this thing called the internet, I'm telling you the Daily Dose studio may just get burned down today because this elephant on the internet has been needed to be addressed for so long and there are so many people that need to hear this message. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let me tell you, there are a lot of people right now that are not happy and there are a lot of people out there that are living a lie and today we are going to address it all. There are a lot of people out there that is living 60% for themselves and 100% for everybody else. And guess what? Your boy is no different. That's right. Dr. Marcus Stone is no different. When it comes to this thing called the internet, let me tell you, it is a fantasy. This is an escape world. This is a route. This is an opportunity to get away. And everybody's trying to put on their best performance all the time and make sure that everything is perfect. And the problem is we are letting other people determine our happiness. That's right. We are putting 100% into everybody else and 60% and to ourselves, and it absolutely has to stop. So today, we are going to talk about four tips 
to stay calm and be yourself because guess what there are not a lot of happy people out there you may think they're happy when you scroll through timelines and you watch videos and all this stuff but let me tell you I've been on this thing called the internet for quite a long time I've developed quite a bit of social relationships with people people give me their secrets don't worry I'm not putting nobody's secrets out there don't worry about that don't worry about that no names but there are a lot of people that is not living their truth and guess what your boy is about to call himself out and I know I call some of y'all out I say y'all got crusty eyes while you're watching the Daily Dose and you're just yawning and waking up and your breath stinks while you're watching the Daily Dose. But guess what? If I, if I dish it out there, I got to be able to take it too. So today I'm putting my own cell phone blast to help my dosers out. So check this out. Four tips. Usually I do three, but today it deserves an extra one. So we're going to talk about four tips. And the first tip to be calm and be yourself is to realize that the internet is a fantasy. That is step number one. My friend that's going to be new to the internet, you're going to hop on and you're going to see some things that make you smile. You're going to see some things that make you cry. You're going to see a lot of things that make you think that life is absolutely perfect. But here's the deal. I'm here to tell you I'm living proof that all that glitters is not gold. Let me give you an example real quick. The other day... Thank you so much, my friend Crystal Ball, for bringing light to this situation because I want to show you real quick. The other day, myself, I was like, I got to remain relevant. The Daily Dose is taking off. It's hitting record numbers. We handling business, but I can't let it die down. I got to stay relevant. I got to pump content out there, right? So the other day at work, I was extremely tired, but I was like, I got to stay relevant. So what did I do? I whip out my handy iPhone and I put it in portrait mode because that blurs the background and make it all pretty and stuff, right? Anyway. I go ahead and I take this picture right here. Now you look at this first picture, you're like, oh, this Marcus, he's cool, he's at work and he's got a suit on. But I'm like, oh, I don't like that face, I'm not smiling, everybody knows me for this like big energy, high energy Marcus, you know what I mean? So I go ahead and take another picture, which is that one right there. And I'm like, let me get a little smile. I'm like, oh, that's not Marcus, that, that just doesn't say Marcus. I'm like, Marcus is crazy, Marcus is upbeat, Marcus is silly. Keep in mind, I'm staying late at work, so it's pretty late. So what I do, I lean back in the chair and I'm like, yeah, there goes the teeth. Everybody's always like, Marcus, it's the smile, it's infectious is contagious so I take this picture right here and I'm like yay it's the teeth and let me tell you what I did I went on this app and I was trying to like like filter it up and fade the background and, and put little fancy text on it and stuff like this I spent 15 minutes on that photo 15 minutes late at work working on a photo and what did I do when it was all said and done it wasn't perfect so I didn't post it wasn't perfect, so I didn't post it. That's right. See, we live in this fantasy world where everything's got to be perfect before we post it. And I'm telling you, dosers, I'm guilty of it myself. I'm showing you right on a daily dose, as transparent as can be, that yes, sometimes I get caught in the trap. I didn't post it on the, the other day on my timeline, but I just posted it right here for the world to see. Me personally, I don't like the pictures. There may be some people y'all was just looking at like, oh, Marcus, that's a nice picture. That's you. That's what we see all the time. But yeah, I can be self-conscious as well, too. And we live in this fantasy world and that's what I want people to realize this is a fantasy where people the majority of people not all because trust me I'm, I'm taking baby steps in progress as well too and progress is a process but there are people that only want to post the perfect angle girls y'all know y'all working out and y'all got the leggings and y'all working on the six pack and this and that and y'all got the right angle to make things pop out a little bit more than they do and you see in real life like that don't pop out in real life like it pop out on the internet but that's none of my business I'm not getting into that and let me tell you I was self-conscious as well too I used to only post pictures when I had like a crispy lineup when I had you know hair of course I'm a little bit bald now uh, but now it's like you know and I would only take pictures now when I'm bald and I had to get the right angle and a really cool background and stuff like that but life isn't like that what about the rest of the 90% of the day where it's not perfect this thing called the internet is a fantasy so realize it realize it yes even some of the people that's growing and making a name for themselves yes I used to follow this guy on Instagram when I was working out and I was like man I, I was scrolling I was like I want to be like that guy he's ripped he's buff he's this and that and I looked at him every day and then it turns out the man was photoshopping his pictures his assistant put him on blast and said what y'all seeing is not real look I got the evidence I've been photoshopping his pictures I'm telling y'all stop living for other people and start living for yourself when I started living for myself and being I'm gonna get into the next topic but when I started living for myself life got a whole lot better and I stopped realizing what everybody else thought about me so that's tip number one my new friend realize that the internet is a fantasy number two where are we at oh there it is okay number two be find your unapologetically you 
That is a tip from me personally to you. I have come to accept myself the way that I am. I am into a lot of crazy stuff. I'm into a lot of weird stuff. But guess what? I've accepted it and I put it out there. I'm into the crazy acronyms. I'm into the IPO. I'm into the SEO. I'm into the IIFYM. I'm into the ISYMF. I'm into ABC, BDC, BBD, Bill Bindabo. I'm into all that kind of stuff. I like podcasts. I like reading. I like a lot of really cool nerdy stuff. But guess what? It's okay because I'm unapologetically me. That's what makes me happy. I have to make myself happy before I can make anybody else happy. And you have to realize that. Don't live for other people. Make yourself happy first. Always, always, always be unapologetically you. Don't apologize for being yourself. You want to know why? Because tip number three, your vibe attracts your tribe. Trust me, there are groups out there. If you think you're alone and you're the only person that likes Star Wars, uh uh-uh. I went to the doctor, yo, my doctor, his entire office, you can't even see the drywall on his wall. This dude is star ward out. If you into the emo stuff and you like the dark hair and the dark this and the dark fingernails, I know a few friends. I can hook you up. If you're an activist, if you're a blogger, if you're into fitness, if you're into the book club, it doesn't matter what you're into. I promise you, there is a group out there for you. Just search it, seek, and ye shall find. I promise you, if you're into stuff, there's stuff out there for it. If you're a photographer, if you're a videographer, if you're you're an IT person, I promise you, there are multiple people. Just search the internet, get on the blogs. Everybody puts the little social media icons next to it. Follow them on Instagram, follow them on Facebook, get to know your buddies and link up real quick. But don't compromise yourself. Don't sacrifice yourself for the happiness of others. You only got this thing called one life and you live it every day, 24 hours at a time. You work too hard. You deserve to be happy. So get your tribe and strength is in numbers and y'all go out there and y'all watch Star Wars trilogies together if that's what you want to do. Okay? That's right. Tip number four, you got to own it, yo. You got to walk proud. Let me tell you. Let me tell y'all something. I love big, confident women. I promise you, like plus size women that are confident, that walk the runway and and put their high heels on and they dress and they just go out there to slay. They own it. They're confident. They know they're beautiful and they are not determined by the shape of them. I love you to death. You keep working your thing, boo boo. Handle your business. Everybody out there that owns what they're into and don't care what anybody else think, I'm a big fan of you. Anybody that's not compromising themselves, I admire you. Anybody that doesn't sacrifice their integrity to be who they're self and try to be somebody else, I honor you. I respect you. I dig you. I'm a fan. Give me the fan page button so I can hit the like button. There is nothing more awesome than a confident person that owns who they are. They say, yes, I like this. Yes, I like like that. Yes, what you going to do about it? That is absolutely right. You have to own your stuff. If you like it, I love it. That's right. Do me a favor and type it in the comments. Own it. If you're into something crazy and you know that you may not have a big following behind it, but that's your thing, type it in the comments. Own it. If you know that you got this thing called One Life and you live every single day unapologetically you and you're not putting out fakeness to the world, then type it in the comments. Own it. Tag a buddy in the comments as well too. If you know they got their own little thing that that it's just them and they do crazy weird stuff and they dance like Napoleon Dynamite or something like that, but that's their thing and they got glow sticks behind it and all that stuff, you tag them in this post and you type it in the comments on it. Whatever you got going on in your life, if that's you and that's your thing and you can smile every single day, living your best life, type in on it. I told you today, we're going to set the Daily Dose Studio on fire because it's going to be lit. Is y'all with me? Hit the like button. Hit the love button. I told you the internet needs to hear this. I'm going to cast a stone across the ocean and make it ripple because everybody needs to hear this. Be unapologetically you. Be unapologetically you. Let's go ahead and address the elephant checklist one more time for the fashionably late dosers that came to the house. This is a no judgment zone. We still got you. Number one, you got to realize this internet thing is a fantasy, y'all. And there are going to be some people that took the dose and they're going to go right back to being the the, the little fantasy internet person. But it's okay. I don't judge you. I love you. Handle your life. Live your best life absolutely the way you want to. But it's okay. Number two, you got to be unapologetically you, yo. Don't apologize for being yourself. Mm -mm, That's you. You were made uniquely you for an absolute reason. Number three, your vibe attract your tribe. Don't think you alone. Don't think you alone. There's a lot of people out there that share common interests. You just got to find them. Hop on this thing called Google. 
and find your people, find your tribe. I don't want to wait, I don't want to wait. Get your spears and you got to throw a dart at them. I don't care what you got to do, but find your tribe. They out there, I promise you. And last but not least, you got to own it, yo. Put yourself out there and walk high with your chest proud and flex if you got to on them and say, this is me. I am lying. Hear me roar. Rawr. That's right on the Daily Dose. I told you I was going to come with the lit topic today. If you guys are brand new to the Daily Dose, do me a favor. Hop on over to my profile. Hit the follow one button and then hit C first. So you can always get your daily dose with your boy, Marcus Stone. If you can't catch me live at 6.30 a.m. Monday through Friday, it's okay. Catch me out on the replay. Type it in there right now. I greatly appreciate you. And check out the outro, y'all. If I can find it, it's been, a, it's been a fire topic today. Here we go. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose. I hope you got your antidote today. Your daily dose of positivity, inspiration, and motivation. Check me out every Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time Zone on Facebook Live. And don't forget to Hulk smash that share button. Just remember, guys, I'm just here to make the world smile and change people's lives. Y'all have a fantastic hump day. Peace.